Hi, welcome back to the how-to series on pouring and today we're going to talk about re-fermented beers again. I'm Roger Mittag, I'm the founder of Prudhomme Beer Certification and if you ever want to learn a little bit more about beer, don't be afraid to check us out. We have absolutely the best online beer education that you'll ever find anywhere. So we're going to take a look at a different way on how to pour a re-fermented or bottle conditioned beer and I'm using Westmall Extra and this is a potter's beer. Potter's beer in Belgium was the father's beer, so it's a little less alcohol. Sometimes you're going to hear this referred to as a table beer. It would have been the same kind of thing hundreds of years ago, but this is a great beer and it is re-fermented and it gives me a good way of demonstrating. So a more North American way or even a German way of doing this, because you see this done with a lot of Weiss beers and in some cases some Belgian whip beers, what we're going to do is open it, pour it about two thirds of the way in and then we're going to swirl and pour again. So it's a two step pour. So we start as we always do on a 45 degree angle and we're going to pour gently again because we don't necessarily want too much noise. So I get this really nice foam head and now I'm going to swirl it. I'm going to bring all that sediment up off the floor of the glass so that I can get all the flavor in the body and I'm going to go right back in. And we're going to make sure that this is a really nice pour. It's crested right over at the top of the glass. And I got this beautiful pour and I've got all of the sediment just floating really nicely in there. So it gives me a really nice cloudy appearance as opposed to a clear appearance. And this is another way of pouring a re-fermented beer. So, our next video is going to show you a more modern North American way of doing this. Cheers.